Hi, in today's video I'm gonna show you how I fix small leaks in my roof for the past like 10 years. So I, we've just had a, a lot of rain recently and so as you can see I had to put a, a little tarp uh, because I had a little water coming right through this gap and this whole beam was wet probably up to here so if you are young enough and brave enough to do it by yourself you can easily do it uh, of course you need to make sure that you have the right spot so you gotta measure uh, on the inside where the where the leak on the outside is gonna be so you gonna start working in the right spot probably there is a small tear in the tar paper on the uh, on the roof maybe there is a little uh, nail that it started sticking out and this causes the roof to leak and of course the most pronounced leaks are in between the gaps right here when the plywood meets not a plywood there's a small gap this is usually where i see the leaks so i'm gonna measure uh, where it is corresponding on top of the roof and I'm gonna go and fix it Alrighty, so I know that my leak is somewhere in this area and as a matter of fact I can see already cracks right here this is probably where the water was coming from so now all I need to do is just open area a little bit bigger so I have like at least two feet by two feet area to work with clean it and first step I just need to get the tiles out after about an hour and a half I've opened up this section of course uh, it is always a little bit bigger than you expect so this was the area where I had a leak I see the beam the water was coming on both sides and then of course uh, was coming on a beam but of course uh, water always comes from the top so I've decided to open it a little bit higher so you can see like it's probably go I went up four feet up and I'm glad I did because even though this area was uh, creating the leak as you can see I had some water coming from here so this is 35 year old roof so I have a bunch of cracked underlayment which creates the leaks and of course if you have a big gaps like this then you can see where the water is uh, coming from uh, water of course was probably coming from the top uh, somewhere in this area I would say uh, this was still a little bit damp and it's probably sipping underneath the first or second layer and then it's spreading on both sides and the exit was right here uh, so I went about a foot and a half lower than this path and basically I think this is the area that I'm gonna clean the easiest way to close this gap just in case there is another water intrusion I um, have this peel and stick tape just gonna cut it and Install it right here. And it's gonna go across. Of course, you have to make sure that the area underneath is clean. I use my shop vac to it from the breeze and all the small dust that may prevent this from sticking permanently okay so just in case I have a another water intrusion at least this area is gonna be sealed now when I'm gonna be fixing this area 
my roofing paper is gonna go of course underneath this layer so you want to double check that there are no obstructions underneath so you can slide it under and then I'm gonna make a cut right here so the layer that I'm going to apply is going to go over this one and I'm gonna put roofing cement underneath this area to make sure that I have a tight seal so basically this is gonna go like this okay so when the water flows down it's gonna flow over this area not under but anyway still I like to put a little uh, roofing cement underneath and then I'm going to I'm gonna put it right on top. Now I'm gonna take my roofing cement. I'm gonna put it right here. So when the bottom part of the paper touches this area, there are gonna be no leaks. Now the last layer goes underneath and over. So first I'm gonna put it right underneath through the gap and I'm gonna tuck it in right underneath my top layer. from the top it doesn't go underneath the layer they already have installed push it up as much as I can until it stops perfect so this is my top layer I'm gonna put a little roofing cement underneath over here and then over on the on the nails this is just for double security and also I always do it because then both layers will stick together better Yeah, I'm gonna probably replace the entire roof so I'm not worrying about using those plastic cups. My, like I said before, my roof is 35 years old and this is just a temporary fix before I decide which company I'm gonna take to replace my roof. So this is how my project looks like no leaks anymore and also on perimeters I'm going to use this uh, mesh thing so that's what I do I have a little mesh right here spread it it's gonna be extra protection on the top alrighty after about four hours I'm done and I'm gonna put my tiles back on the roof and that's gonna be it for today and I think within the next couple of days I'm gonna have a pretty good rain so that's gonna be a perfect test to see if I did a good job or not thanks for watching guys goodbye